Okay, the word of the Lord has came to me. Contents. Pure joy. This is mind-blowing. Just like the word weather, as in it's nice weather outside. The letters that don't divide by five in contents add perfectly to joy. And then everything else divides by five because five is the number of, the jo is the number of joy. So, um, how did this word come to me? Okay, well, I'm just going outside, taking a walk. And I said, I am feeling content. As in, I spent the whole morning preaching, doing gematria research. We recorded video. It's uploading as I speak. Um, great. You know, I had some light food. I am feeling content. Okay, so I'm going to preach to you the mystery and the joy of God in the word content. It's very obvious. Okay, the dead center of the word content is the T, which divides by five. And that's what we've been getting from the Lord. Words that have multiples of five at the dead center. But this gets even... Um, even more stunning and more just amazing. This is so cool, okay? And when you think about contents, the contents inside a package or in a book, it's the table of contents, okay? Um, but the stuff inside of a package is a joy. It's called the contents. You open the box and inside is the contents. Now, we, we had a ton of words yesterday from the Lord regarding uh, boxes and bags and things that have a present inside for Christmas. Like the word box has O at the center, which is five. It's just like the word gift. Just like the word bag is double five. Container has fives at the center. Enclosure has fives at the center. But the word contents, just like the word weather, like it's nice weather outside. So look at the letters contents. C-N-N-S. In perfect symmetrical spacing. Just like the W A. H R in weather, as in the nice weather outside. Those perfectly symmetrically spaced letters add perfectly to 50, which equals joy. Okay, and all the other letters divide by five. So it and the dead center of the word contents is T E 25, half a joy, and then the other letter is an O. 15 and the other letter is a T so you have another 35 so that's 35 plus 25 okay equals 60 plus 50 so contents is 110 now the word table divides by five glaringly like a, a table to eat food at or the table of contents in a book T 20 E 5 15 in the middle the message is joy 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 um, but there you go. You, so someone says, I am feeling content. What they're actually saying is, I feel true joy. I feel true joy. I feel satisfied. Okay. So the word content, as in the feeling of contentment, the word content, okay, uh, has the, the T at dead center. T divides by five. Um, enough said. Okay. Four letters. But to me, it just, it just gets so perfect when you say the contents, okay? Because now C-N-N-S in perfect spacing equals joy, just like the W-A-H-R in weather, and everything else divides by five, okay? Um, so think about a present. The contents are inside the box. What's another word for contents that divides by five? Joy, goods, well, the goods on the inside. Um, goods divides by five. It's uh, 30 plus 30, 60. But um, contents is just so beautiful. It's just perfectly symmetrical. Couldn't ask for more in contents. Um, amazing. You can spell other words, you know. So um, there's a famous word called tote. A tote is the name of a bag that would hold contents, which would be items of joy, okay? We call it a tote bag. And a tote is actually kind of a, a fun bag. Like if, um, you know, especially, okay, you do shopping in the ladies' department, they got tons of tote bags, you know, all these designs and stuff. But anyways, um, so tote is pure fives. In fact, it's 20, 20, 20. Tote is 60, bag is 10. So a tote bag is just pure fives, okay? But the fact that the word tote, letter for letter, is sitting in the word contents, <laughs> and then the C-N-N-S left over equals 50 equals joy, it's embarrassing. You get a tote bag, you put your contents in it, and it's all, they are all agents of joy. They are all gifts 
ordained by heaven, with names foreordained by heaven for God's glory, for God's pleasure. God is the king. Well, you need to understand, if you don't already, God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, and the Holy Ghost, they are the kings and the foreordainers of this entire story into which you were born. And all the words were foreordained by them and for them, and the math is flawless on them, on them, and that is why you study words and scoop up every one. Okay? So, and give me true equals Jesus, great I am. But this is so exciting. So, the contents, the contents of anything, the contents of a meal, the contents inside of a piece of fruit, the contents inside of someone's brain, the contents inside of your soul. Is it, are you a happy person? Uh, you know, like Jesus said, you know, you shall know the, 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 out of the abundance of the heart the most speaketh. The contents of anything is the desired stuff. It's the juice. It's the joy, okay? So contents, and then the word content, okay? So review, I am feeling content. Bang. You got your T at the dead center, and at the end it divides by five. Beautiful. Say, I got some great contents here, okay? Bang. Pure joy, pure symmetry, pure fives, Okay amazing. I love words from the Lord. Okay. And then now this will allow me to preach on the word weather again, because same design. Okay. So God's joy, just unbelievable. So, um, I really want to hit, you know, Christmas day. We talked about gifts. We talked about words related to box, con boxes, containers, packages. Um, you, you look at all of the, we did the other day, the word box, the word package, the word parcel, the word gift, and you see the fives in the center, or the whole thing is screaming out fives. It's very obvious. Five, the number of joy, okay? And, um, and then, uh, well, when you open that box, when you open that gift, what is on the inside? Oh, the contents. <laughs> and it's a moment of joy. Now, this is so awesome because the word moment, there are so many, joy is such a momentary thing. It's like all of a sudden, joy because of just, oh my goodness, the surprise. So surprise is pure fives. Purpose is pure fives, of course. Surprise is pure fives. Moment is screaming fives. Moment is just like the word hotel, motel, and resort. It contains the letters T-O-E, the divide by five, and then uh, the other letters knit together to make a multiple of five. So every moment. So in a crystalline moment, you, so you open, you pull off the lid, five times five, of that box, which has fives at the center, and you see the contents, and the joy hits you instantly, in a moment, okay? So moment, joy, contents. This word contents is so huge because it, because it is the last word in the front of every single book that means anything to anyone. It's called the table of contents. The table of contents. What do you have inside this book that is going to be a joy to God and man? So the word contents, just like the word weather, the fine weather that God is in control of. Lightning and thunder and storm all divide by five. It's the joy of God and wind equals joy. It's very fun. But um, contents, C-N-N-S equals joy. I can't stop saying that. It's just so perfect. Like you do the math for the first time, you'll be screaming your head off at how perfect it all is. Um, you know, CS22, NN28, just they all go up in value. Um, and uh, contents. So contents, you get the joy, the 50 points, just like in the word weather. The rest letters divided by three, again, in symmetry, just like in the word weather. And those letters are E-O-T-T, -T, which adds to, of course, 60, which equals word. Um, and it spells the word tote. So a tote bag. Tote and bag both divide by 5 and 10. So you have a tote bag, okay? Now at the store, they sell tote bags for putting books in. Okay, that's been the summer special, okay? Do you want to buy one of our tote bags? And the, they have fun slogans for carrying books, like I like big books and I cannot lie and all that stuff. Okay? So, you have a tote bag, you put your books in it, those are the contents which bring you joy, you open the book, it has a table of contents, I'm here to preach the glory of God on the mathematical perfection of the word contents, and also being content. Content means that you are joy-filled, you have arrived, you are happy in God, with God inside you. So, wow, that was good. I love personal words from the Lord. So I said I'm feeling content, then we got the word contents, just like the word weather. 
and uh, now we're making a video on it. So, table of contents, joy. Every word is a joy. So word is joy, and we solved everything like jot. I mean, we jot, letter, word. They all scream out fives because they are a joy. Okay, words are the pride of God. Every English word in the Oxford English Dictionary, just foreordained in its spelling. Okay. Um, that's amazing. The word contents, the table of contents. And so let's, um, I'm really big into presence and, and we were solving, um, the word open equals joy. And, uh, we were solving words like box and gift that had fives at the center. And so what's another word for contents? I thought of one already, the word goods. Um, Ah, uh, this this is you know content, the contents, the goods. Um, excuse that sound effect. It's okay. Um, and then you can go into the um, yeah, you can even see the the Latin origins of that word, which is fascinating. From the Latin contentus, which means satisfied. Well, you there you have the word contents plus the u. Okay. Um. Wow, so the contents of a bottle of wine, the contents of a bottle of water. Contents is such a gorgeous word. Fives. The content, you know. I'm looking for synonyms. Um, and we're just doing a brief check here. Now the word constituents contains the word contents. And so what I've already preached on, yeah, so constituents is contents plus a lot of other cool, um, the word constituent singularly um, contains contents plus another 50. So see, this is the kind of patience and detail this work takes. Um, wow. Amazing. Um, man, now I'm just solving sections, chapters. Now, of course, the word chapters divides by five. The table of contents is a listing of chapters. And chapters has, um, uh, yeah, lots of fives in it. But And then look at the word constituent. It's got the word contents, the pure fives, and then adds another ITU which equals 50, another joy. It's very obvious what God is up to, okay? So a constituent is the word contents plus another 50, another joy, okay? So the word constituent is 160. You see how one word leads to another, but you have to know um, what the numbers mean. Hold on a sec. I'm uploading video, which is, eh, I hope it doesn't crash. I, mean, I don't want to risk crashing because I want to get those videos up. Um, nah, it just crashed. No worries. We will get it up. All right. Table of contents solved. So let's think to ourselves, what's another word um, for contents? Like the contents of a gift. Okay. The goods. Um... The innards. <laughs> I do not know if that um, divides by five or not. Um, we could take a look. Fifteen. Uh, Twenty-seven. Not quite. Um, the insides, perhaps. The insides. What's on the inside counts, we say. Um, look at the word heart. The word hearts, interestingly, the word hearts, plurally, divides by five. Let's look at insides. Um, so 42, 51, plus nine. Inside, singularly, divides by five. Okay, what's inside, we say. Um, look inside. All right, all right. Okay, well, I preached on the joy in the word contents and the perfection of it, just like the word weather. So, um, 
maybe I'll just leave it at that, get these videos uploading, and um, just continue to walk with the Lord.